and welcome to my holiday kitchen. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite salads. <laughs> I love any type of salad that is disguised as, or a dessert that's disguised as a salad or a salad that's disguised as a dessert. I don't know. However that would work. The ones that you're like, I need to bring a dessert to a picnic. Oh, I know. I'll bring pretzel salad. I need to bring a salad to a picnic. Oh, I know. I'll bring pretzel salad. Yeah, that's the kind of salad I'm into. And that's the kind of salad we're going to make. So, we are making my famous pretzel salad. If you've had strawberry pretzel salad before, you've had something very similar. But as is the case with most things. I eat it and I'm like, that's pretty good. You want to make it great? And that's what it, we've done. So my dessert or my recipe is probably going to be a little different, but it's really good. Okay. So here what we're going to do is this is two cups of pretzel. I like to buy the sticks and this time they had at Walmart one of the options when I was doing my grocery order, and I think I told you before I just do the pickup, um, is ultra thin pretzel sticks. And so that's what I got because I thought, oh, those will crush up nicely. And I just crush them up in my Ninja food processor just a little bit. You want them to definitely not be a powder, but you want them to be, you know, how a pretzel stick normally is. And now they're like this. Okay. So that's, that's what we're going for. To that, you're going to add a quarter cup of sugar, white sugar, and then three quarters cup of melted butter. Three quarters cup, just FYI, is a stick and a half. And this is just a wee bit hot. So I'm going to use my reusable paper towel to hold it. <laughs> My poor husband, he didn't know he was what he was getting into exactly. Anyway, we're just going to stir this up. Okay, just like that. And once we get it completely stirred, this is graham cracker crust-esque. We put it into a 9 by 13 pan. like that and oops paper towel in the sink and we're gonna just smash it all out nice and even You on me or the okay you're on me okay anyway just smash it out nice and even just like this okay and then we're gonna pop it in a 300 oops I got a hole there pop it in a 350 degree oven some of that there we go for 10 minutes there we go okay so 350 degree oven for 10 oops, sorry, babe, minutes. My oven's already hot. There she goes. All right, and I'll see you back in a minute. All right, welcome back. So our 10 minute timer just went off. We're gonna go ahead and pull this crust right out of the oven. Here it is, done. Now we're just gonna go ahead and let that cool. Um so that we can uh, make the filling and the jello layer. So we might come back in the in-between and do one or both of those, um, but you probably saw my turkey brine, maybe Jade brine was really good. I also have that going on, so we'll see how this all plays out, but we'll be back doing some step here in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back. Here we are, we're gonna make the cream cheese filling for our pretzel salad. 
So what we're going to start with is a cup and a quarter of um, white sugar and 12 ounces, that's a brick and a half, of cream cheese. Get in there, little dude. All right. And we're just going to set that to stir. And what you're going to do is just whip this up nice and light and it well incorporated. So basically this salad is a three layer salad. You've got this salty buttery crust. You've got what ends up tasting like a cheesecake layer. Um, I don't know if you've ever had the cheesecake, the no bake cheesecake with the cream cheese, uh, or cream cheese. It's a no bake cheesecake with cream cheese, isn't that shocking? The no bake cream cheese, good grief a mighty. The no bake cheesecake with the graham cracker crust. Same thing, um, same filling, exact same actually. So that's what it ends up tasting like. Um, but then you, and then on top of that, you have a, a fruity jello concoction. So ends up being really, really tasty. Okay, I'm gonna just put this up to the highest, or one of the highest settings for a second and let it be. And then to this, you're gonna be adding an eight ounce tub of Cool Whip. Well, actually a little over eight ounce. Um, Eight, let's say eight to twelve ounces. Because I do a little bit more cream cheese. I like a little extra filling. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, nice and in incorporated. I don't see any chunks. Um, I don't hear any sugar still. So we're going to call that good. Tone it down a little bit. So this is the 16 ounce whipped topping. I have used real whipped cream that I've made before. It turns out just as good. It really does, but Cool Whip is easier. And we're just going for easy this, this time around. So I'm gonna start with half of this because that would be eight ounces. And then if I, if I feel like it needs a little bit more, I'll put more in. But so we do half, roughly half, and then this you don't want to overbeat. You're more just folding it in. So we're gonna watch it real closely. Keep it on a low. Low um, speed. that looks about right. Let me test the consistency. Mm, yeah. Let's hand mix it now and see if we'll see if it needs more. Come on over here. Let me grab my spatula here. I'm going to scrape off this beater. Oh my Stuff is so good. Okay. What's that? No. Mostly because I finally heard what you said after it was too late. Okay. So what you're doing now is just scraping the sides of the bowl, making sure that there's no lumps. I'm not beating the tar out of it, but just making sure those are scraped off real well. And that looks really good. So now what we'll do is we will go ahead and this is our crust that we made earlier. It's completely cool. Very crunchy, salty, buttery. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drop this in dollops on our crust. Okay. 
Perfect. I'll let Jaden lick out the bowl. Yaden, do you want to lick out the bowl, hun? Okay. You grab my offset spatula. Okay, I need to get a bigger offset spatula. Okay, here you go, bud. I am recording, just so you know. Got you out of the kitchen. So then what you do is just spread this out nice and even on top of the pretzels. That sounded weird because I was think trying to think of another word to say after that. The pretzel crust. Mm -hmm. Here, there's sugar on my countertop. <laughs> this seems a little thick on this side. Let's move some of that over. You just want to get a nice, as even as possible layer. Don't lose sleep over it. Because on top of this is just going a jello fruit mixture. But that way you try to get you know, nice even layers. But at the end of the day, we're talking about butter, sugar, salt, pretzels, cream cheese, Cool Whip, Jello, and cherries. You really can't go wrong. It's not like someone will be like, oh man, that's terrible. Okay, so there you go. That's it. Um, I'm gonna pop this section, this part into the fridge and we'll be back to make the cherry Jello mixture. All right, welcome back to my kitchen. We are going to be working on the jello fruit portion of our salad. So, what I have here is the family size, the six ounce uh, box of cherry jello. And to that, again, we're going to be adding one and three quarter cups of water. Again, I'm cutting it by a quarter cup um, to factor in for the fruit that I'll have you add. So one and three quarters is right there. And just like making regular jello, you're gonna just put that in. like that and stir. You're stirring to completely dissolve the jello and that's why I like to use a spatula, a rubber spatula as I can feel the grittiness on the bottom and then of course feel when it's nice and slick and not gritty and that means we're completely dissolved. Sometimes on the lighter jellos it's easier to see when you're dissolved, of course, this dark cherry, you're not going to be able to see it. As I was saying before, normally this calls for strawberry jello and strawberries in the mix, but I found that, and probably because of cherry cheesecake, that you know, I told you the layer for this is a lot like cheesecake, um, that I really think that the cherry tastes better. So the favorite mixture I have is this cherry jello and then what I do is I take a bag of frozen or fresh if I get some fresh ones in the summer and I blend up um, raspberries push them through a sieve and make seedless puree I don't heat it or anything at that point I freeze it and then that's what I use in this. So instead of using cold water or bags of frozen strawberries, I'm using a seedless puree. And then what I did is I grossly or um, not grossly, what is the word? That's what it would be in German. Uh, I can't think, not finely, but coarsely, that's the word, coarsely chopped some dark um, cherries frozen. And to make 
just over 20 ounces of, of fruit and puree mixture. So to our dissolved jello, we're going to add the, I guess it's probably about 22 ounces of fruit mixture. Just like that. And then I'm going to let that sit for just a second while I grab out the uh, pretzel and cream cheese layer and we'll get that spooned on top. Okay, welcome back. So now what we have is our, our fruit mixture and our pretzel and um, cream cheese mixture and we're going to put this on top. And, and the, the thing is, just be very careful so that you don't break that cream cheese. So I like to use a ladle and take my time and just gently, gently, gently uh, spoon this on so I don't split that cream cheese. And then what you'll do is after this is all on, put it on a nice level shelf in your fridge and go ahead and refrigerate this for at least four to six hours, but preferably overnight. I've done it for less. I've even stuck it in the freezer for a time to ensure that it had enough time to, to set, but it, uh, it just does better to just give it the full, the full overnight treatment. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. There we go. So I'm not positive that I'll come back and show you the finished product um, because I'm not probably, maybe tonight when we get home from church if it's set enough. But if not, trust me when I say, I think Brian showed you on the side, it's got nice distinct layers. When it sets up, the gelatin is soft in the sense that it's not rubbery. And it is just such a delicious treat. I'm, I'm positive, as long as your family likes cream cheese, that they will love this. <laughs> so other than that, the only thing to say is I love you, we love you, God loves you, and God's got this.